Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Inch Drive Metric 10-piece uh, impact socket set, although uh, I only have the nine short well sockets. Um, this is another back shelf item, and it wasn't actually much of a discount on sale. These are about $80, and it was like 65 bucks missing the one socket, but I couldn't really pass it up. Uh, I really needed a heavy-duty 27 millimeter, and just one this one socket, a 27 millimeter inch drive impact from a professional brand, is around 50 to 60 dollars for that one socket. So I went for the you know a whole set. Um, oftentimes I'm actually using these for pressing. Um, so many times you know I'm not working with fasteners quite this large, unless I'm inside a transmission or. Uh, helping somebody with a piece of farm equipment or something. But as far as pressing in and out bearings and pressing in and out bushings, it's really nice to have a variety of large sockets because you can always have a nice, sturdy, you know, parallel machined driver to move the bushings in and out. And you can see how I've done that here on this 38 millimeter. Anyway, we'll do a close up here. These things really are. You know, as far as the good Taiwanese stuff, these are pretty good. I mean, the fluting is really nice in them. Maybe I'm zooming in a little too close. Fluting is really nice. Laser etching is nice, although I prefer stamping because laser etching ends up becoming invisible after a while. Good fluting on the bottom. I've had these for, you know, over a year. And they apparently still do sell them, so that's nice. Uh, they are Harbor Freight, so there is the one factor where they make them so competitively priced. These three sockets here, the 30, the 32, and the 35, are actually all forged out of the same die. Uh, and so that's how they save a little bit of money is not ordering a whole bunch of different stock. Uh, they have to on many of the sizes, but in these three sizes, if we look, we can see the decreasing wall thickness. And if we measure the outside diameter of all these, you know, 2.06, what's it say in metric? Anything mean, meaningful? Not really. It looks like it's a imperial measurement. 2.06 and 2.06. So uh, that's one thing they do is they'll forge them out. So obviously the walls are much thinner on this socket than they are on this socket. And, they're, and even though much thinner, uh, it's still really heavy duty. I mean, the right at the thinnest part right here at the flute, if we measure that, we can see that the wall of that socket, at its very thinnest, is still almost a quarter inch thick. Um, as opposed to the 30, which is obviously going to be much heavier duty, which is pushing almost three-eighths of an inch thick. Some of them are almost comically funny, like this 27 here, or this 21, excuse me, with this hugely thick walls. Actually, they're a little thinner than even that socket. Anyway, they're pretty nice. They're heavy duty. Um, and then just to give you an idea of how much bigger one inch drive is than standard, here's a uh, 21 millimeter half inch drive uh, impact socket. It has about eighth inch thick walls. And you can see it is just, you know, it may, it, inch drive makes half inch look like what quarter inch is to half inch drive, really. Um, I mean, the sockets are just so massive. I mean, this 21 millimeter socket can almost fit in the drive of this socket. So anyway, uh, it's kind of neat seeing the big tools. We'll zoom back out here. And just wanted to show any people who are thinking about maybe ordering these or don't have a Harbor Freight store near, although apparently they have 850 stores now, um, that if you buy those impact, they're new Taiwanese made uh, inch drive impact sockets that they're you know, they're well worth it. I mean, for on sale for 80 bucks, I mean, holy mackerel. It's actually one of the better deals at Harbor Freight. Inch drive sockets from major manufacturers are big time money. Um, oftentimes exceed, exceeding $100 per socket. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Oh, I almost forgot to say what sizes they came with. It skips. It uses the most common sizes. It appears that the metric sizes that they choose are for... Uh, to go in between sizes that you get with the standard set. So if you bought both the standard and the metric set, you would actually have a fairly complete uh, set of sockets, and they would complement each other. 
The difference between metric and standard as you get in the larger and larger sockets, a one or two millimeters obviously means a whole lot less on a 50 millimeter socket than it does on a 10 millimeter socket. Um, so that's another reason why it's rare to find uh, metric, large metric impact sockets and why this skips around from 21, 27, 30, 32, 35, 38, 41, 46, and 50. So some pretty big spacing, but you know if you're into long-term set building and you're working in any kind of heavy agriculture, uh, earth moving equipment, heavy diesel, obviously there's a lot of applications where you would end up using these. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, I appreciate everybody subscribing and continuing to look at my weird little tool reviews and uh, look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Catus Maximus out. Please subscribe.